Are you taking care of your vagina? Listen, sis, your vajayjay is not supposed to be smelling like fish or rotten egg or spoiled food or dead rat. So, if you're smelling that way, something wrong. You are what I'm looking for. hi guys welcome back to another feminine fridays and in this video we are gonna talk about vaginal health how are you taking care of your vagina i hope that you guys are not doing the stuff that you're not supposed to do with your vagina because if you mess with the ph balance it can cause a whole lot of problem for you so i'm gonna give you some tips on how to take care of your vajayjay. Keeping yourself clean is perhaps one of the most important feminine hygiene tip there is. And so, our number one tip is to wash your vagina every day. And especially when you are entering into puberty, the changes in your body make good personal hygiene all the more critical and things like getting your period and having daily discharge or even bodily sweat from your sweat glands these can make cleaning keeping clean increasingly important for you as a woman so that's our number one tip wash your vagina every day washing your intimate area daily is just the first step so what is our number two or number two tip for taking care of your vagina wash the outside of your vagina and the, the inside of your vagina has its own self-cleaning mechanism so it doesn't need to be like washed or scrubbed or or cleaned and this also means that that you don't need to douch and a lot of persons douche, but they don't understand the harm that they're doing to their bacteria, the bacterial flora of their vagina. So stick to washing the outside of your vagina, which is called the vulva. That is the area that includes inner and the outer vaginal lips and the clitoris. Okay, so that's our number two tip. Wash the outside of your vagina only. Tip number three, you're going to avoid using gloves. Or sponges to wash your intimate area and feminine hygiene doesn't require any special equipment okay especially for the vagina area just some feminine wash and water because what the skin of your intimate area is very sensitive and it can be irritated by abrasive materials like gloves and sponges and and loafers plus you can imagine that sponge and those things they call it bacteria you can imagine those bacteria going up into your vajayjay mm -mm. you don't want that your hands are enough to wash your private area okay it can do the job for you to achieve good personal hygiene for your vajayjay so tip number four you're gonna use a soft towel that is dry to dry your vajayjay after you have taken a bath all right and another tip along with this tip is to make sure that you change your towel regularly i know that they recommend changing it like two to three days but can we be honest i i don't change my towel two to three days probably weekly or so but make sure that you don't share your towel with anyone else can you imagine if i wipe my vagina with my towel and then you wipe the vagina with the same towel mm -mm. get your own towel girl feminine hygiene for your vulva is very important tip number five don't point water directly to your vagina so when you're bathing don't use water and like spray it up straight in your vagina all right you don't want bacteria that's probably even in the water to go up in your vagina okay so instead just let the water run down on you from your top down to your pubic area and over your vagina don't point it directly to your vajayjay okay and wipe front to back that is our next tip number six wipe front to back and you may have heard the personal hygiene tip before um but 
it's really worth a, a reminder. So when you go to the Louvre, be sure to wipe front to back, okay? Because imagine if you wipe from back to front, you're wiping, you just poop, wiping front to back, all of that poop, some of it might go into your vagina and that is, that is really bad luck for you if some of that poop go in there, bacteria and all these things causing infection and all of that. So wipe front to back and not back to front. And tip number seven, wear cotton underwear. And this cannot be overemphasized. Wearing cotton and underwear is important for good personal hygiene. And cotton is a very breathable fabric, so it allows any excess moisture from sweat or discharge to evaporate instead of becoming like a breeding ground for bacteria. Okay, so seven, wear cotton underwear. Tip number eight, wear panty liner i don't know about you but i am very uncomfortable not wearing panty liner it just does the magic it works and wearing it daily helps to absorb that vaginal discharge you don't want all of us women have vaginal discharge it doesn't matter if you're a fat woman a slim woman an in-between woman a tiny woman anemic woman it doesn't matter all of us has vaginal discharge and so you need that panty liner to catch that discharge that is coming healthy discharge by the way healthy discharge that is coming from your body and this discharge the healthy discharge it cleans it cleans your vagina okay so it's your body's way of cleansing your vagina from toxins and staying clean and moisturized so wear your panty liner wear your panty liner and for our final tip girl drink it up drink it up and we all heard this saying you are what you eat and i can tell you that i am somebody who struggles to drink water and even the other day when i did a blood test about a year ago everything was fine except that the blood test showed that i was drinking enough water and water is very important for your vajayjay -jay. okay so in your vajayjay's case you are what you drink okay sugary drinks can it can affect the bacterial balance of your vagina and so can have it be dehydrated so be sure to drink plenty of water to give your body a boost when it comes to flushing out toxins and keeping your vagina clean and healthy so incorporate all these intimate hygiene tips into your life in order to keep a healthy vagina a clean healthy vagina and to keep you smiling confident okay so these are my tips for you to keep you healthy to keep your vajayjay healthy and once you do that and keep your vajayjay healthy we win so thank you guys for watching if you like this video give us a thumbs up like share subscribe and we'll definitely see you next friday for another feminine tip